morning guys welcome back to the channel it is wednesday currently 11 55 in the morning but before we get started i want to thank today's sponsor established titles now you can buy i'm just kidding <laughs> that was a joke that was a joke uh if you guys don't know or maybe you don't follow a lot of youtubers or whatnot everybody and their mom has been sponsored by the established titles where you can buy land in scotland or whatever but it's basically a huge scam so I, i'm just trying to be funny but anyways we do have our first order of the day here from pot belly oh we are in reston by the way i think it's paying 750 yeah 750 uh it's going to a salon the food was ready which is awesome now it is the last day of the month so we're not gonna hit the goal of 5,000, which is disappointing but oh. maybe we, or maybe if we have a good day we could at least hit 4,500. now for the next month the goal is going to be the same, $5,000, right? But if I don't hit it, I'll do the one chip challenge on the channel, maybe on a live for you guys. If, if I don't hit it, you know what I mean? I think that's more than fair. Now, I see thought about doing it for this month, but the reason why I didn't bring it up is because we thought about it too late, you know, like last week or something. Um, so this way I have the entire month to work with. I think it's fair. Um, but yeah, so hopefully today we're going to have a good day. It is raining and it's kind of gloomy and whatnot, but it's all good. We'll figure it out. Anyway, let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys in a bit. Hello. Looking for Miss Molly. Okay, cool. perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, guys. So after dropping off the last order, we got an offer relatively right away. So I have to make a U-turn, but we're going to go to Sweet Leaf. I got a text saying the food is ready. So, yeah. Well, the Davios is open now, so I might have to try this. Davios. Looks good. But anyways, we're going to go to Sweet Leaf. I haven't been to Sweet Leaf in a while. It's a small order, but hey, we're, we're staying active. So hey, no complaints, no complaints. Hopefully, it's actually ready and they didn't just hit all oh, the food's ready and then it's not ready, you know what I mean? So, everybody hates that. Let's see. Well, good, how are you? Is it, should I check over there for Stacy? Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. Cool. Okay, let's go. The food is ready. We'll see you guys back in the Dashmobile. Okay, guys, so as you saw, the food was ready at Sweet Leaf. Now we're back in the Dashmobile, only three minutes away, one mile. So a very nice start to the day, even though it is a late start. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it took me a lot longer to edit <laughs> than what I'm used to. So that's part of why I started kind of late. Um, but I think it's just a learning process. Once I get used to it, it'll be, it'll be easier, I think, in the long run. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, I guess I'll know later today when I put that out. But anyways, let me get this dropped off. And the time right now is 12.15. We've got plenty of time. We're going to be here till about 2 o'clock and then go to Tyson's for the potential Macy's drop because it's been a while since I feel like I've done one. Um, so yeah, anyways, let me get this dropped off and we shall see you guys in a bit. Guys, so after dropping off the order here from Sweet Leaf, we got up, it became 925 by the way, the lady met me in the lobby. We got an order here from, um, Perry Perry, uh, Nando's, Nando's Perry Perry Chicken. We just got it dropped off. It became 1050. And the reason why I didn't record is I didn't realize that the camera had no battery. I, you would assume that when it's in the charging case, it would charge. No, you have to have the case open for it to charge. Makes no sense. But anyways, you know, we're learning. We're learning. So right now we're sitting at 2775. The time is 1235 in the afternoon. Pretty good hour. Pretty good first hour. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're going to go to North Italia 625. I think it's less than a mile or maybe a mile if that. So, yeah, hopefully the food's ready. I mean... Honestly, it's this is the busiest I felt in a long time. It's been pretty much dead in Tyson's. At least that's what that's my perception, you know. I think Tyson's has a lot of orders, but a lot of trash orders, you know what I mean? So I'm sure there's drivers taking orders there that are not profitable, but hey, you know, I just can't do that. I know it's really windy, so hopefully you guys hear me over the wind. 
Um, but yeah, so we're going to North Italia. Man, they've been remodeling this for a while. I thought they'd be done by now, like for Christmas and stuff. Typically, we do a lot of Christmas decorations. North Italia. I'm just picking up. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So the order was ready here for Mr. Greg. Whew. We'll see you guys back in the Dashmobile. Okay, guys. So we got the order dropped off from North Italia, just 625. We're driving back. And then we got this one right here from Now Your Average Joe's. 625. I think it's like 3.5 miles. Basically, my max for orders right so i like to stay 625 3.5 miles or less but i'm like now your average joe's is expensive now we all know that that's not that doesn't always mean that we're gonna get a nice tip like the one lady with her seven pizza kits or whatever um but it's going to a nice office building that i feel like they always tip well so we're gonna go ahead and risk it now when i got there i thought the food was ready i walked in the bag that was there not for me so i ended up waiting like five minutes no big deal um, and now we're back on the road. It's a bunch of burgers, but it's expensive. The thing is like five burgers, 80 bucks. 80 bucks for burgers um, from a pizza place <laughs> or from like an Italian place, I guess. Not really a pizza place, but we'll see how it goes. The time is 1.34, and right now we're currently sitting at $34. So we're gonna be at least at 40 bucks after this. And then I'm gonna try and squeeze one more order before going to Tyson's. I really hope that we get lucky with Macy's today because if not, Man, Tyson's is gonna be. A, I, I already feel like it's gonna be a struggle. So we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys. And okay, guys. So we got the order dropped off here from now. Your average Joe's. It went from six twenty-five to nine seventy-five. We'll take it. Almost ten dollars. Now we're gonna finish the first part of our shift here at forty-three seventy-five. Honestly, not not so bad. We were online a little over two hours, I think. So I think a little over twenty-one an hour, um, which again, a lot better than yesterday. That's for sure. Now, yesterday we got lucky with some orders from Podbelly, the Podbelly Kids order. I get all that. But other than that, I mean, yo, we had a, we had a struggle. Like Tuesdays, officially probably my worst day, um, I think. But anyways, in other DoorDash news, I don't know if you guys have seen these news or have heard about it, but I saw it on my Google feed. And basically, DoorDash is laying off, I think it's like a thousand workers, I think, from their corporate offices and stuff. And I put that on my Discord. Join the Discord, by the way, it's free. <laughs> and um, look at this comment that I got here. I forgot who, who mentioned it in the moment, but I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, and basically, you know, it's like DoorDash oversaturated their offices. And now, you know, it's it, you, you guys get the analogy, you know, basically when people get deactivated and whatnot. You know, and it sucks. I mean, I get it. People are losing their jobs and whatnot. But, you know, it happens almost every day. People lose their jobs every single day. And, of course, as soon as that happened, the DoorDash stock price went up. You know, and I'm not going to talk to you about stocks. That's not that's not my thing, okay? I'm not going to, I'm not here to sell you or anything. But, it's you know, investors like seeing that stuff. Um, so, of course, it went up. Um, but, yeah, so what do you guys think about that? And also... Do you guys think at some point there's going to be a dollar base pay in the future? Honestly, I would like to think that, that, that that's not going to happen. But I think if, you know, the trend keeps going in the way that it's going, which DoorDash can do whatever they want. And, you know, all we can do is either adapt and keep dashing or do another app or not dash anymore or something, you know. Um, so I like to think that they wouldn't do that, but at the same time, it's a company and they want to make money, and yeah. So I think at some point, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets lowered again, but I think there's going to be an, another reduction before it goes to a dollar. I think it would be too drastic of them to go from 225 to a dollar. Now, I think that I think that would be terrible, to be honest, you know, but what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. Anyways, we have, uh, now we have like 12 minutes here until we get to... Uh, to Tyson's we are gonna get there kind of early but I might just eat something real quick before the Macy's drop and yeah so we'll see you guys in a few all right guys it is 308 308 and the Macy's drop came and went and I'm not gonna lie I kind of regret not taking the one that was given to me it was paying $31 for like 14 or 15 miles but it wasn't going too too far it was still here in Virginia 
and you know I declined it thinking hey we could get something better and we didn't <laughs> we did not get anything better uh, but here we are going to the cheesecake factory we got this order here 625 the miles are low why not you know something so after this order we should be almost at 50 bucks let's see if the food's ready Waiting and I don't think the food's ready. So that kind of sucks. Hey guys, so the food was actually ready, but there was nobody there to give it to me, and they want to just grab it. Uh, and they were in the back watching the uh, Mexico Saudi Arabia game. Can't blame them. It's a you know it's a good game. I was watching some earlier when I was uh, eating real quick before the Macy's drop. Uh, but yeah, so we got the food. Now it's starting to rain. It's pretty gloomy outside. Maybe that'll help with the orders. We're only four minutes away from the destination. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're dropping off the order here. Probably a lot of echo. Sorry for that. At this Embassy Suite by Hilton here in Tyson's. Pretty nice, actually. I'm not really expecting the order to go up at all, but maybe, maybe it will. Let's see. Four. Okay. Open. Be faster this way. Let's see. Oh well, yeah, it looks nice. Oh, it's raining by the way. So let's see. They're gonna make the shift slower or better. I'm sure they're gonna throw some peak pay for no reason, like they normal, like they normally do. So yeah. Four twenty one. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Take the picture. Cool. Now let's see. Okay, 725. It went up a little bit. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. So now we're officially over the $50 threshold. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we got the order dropped off 725. And I was just chilling in the parking lot because where I'm at right now, there's a lot of stores right that are right next to me, like Chipotle and Chick-fil-A, but if I leave and I get an order from them, like coming back around will be a pain. But I guess that won't matter because we're gonna go to Balducci's. Now, I've actually never been to Balducci's because the one in Reston closed. But it's just like, a, I don't know, another grocery store like Harris Teeter or like Wegmans, you know, one of those like slightly fancier than normal grocery stores, if that makes any sense. Paying 23.50, 11 items, seven miles. Right now at 3.35, absolutely so now we're making our way to balducci's and we'll see you guys in a few okay guys so we're still driving to balducci's got a five more minutes but quick story time okay so hear me out for black friday i bought a new laptop because my laptop was dying and then i bought this new camera right which i think I i'm loving it okay i'm loving it so far but this is what happened okay they both came in the same box and somebody stole this package off my doorstep basically now i don't have a ring cam but my neighbor had put one in his garage because we have a caring neighbor that likes to take a lot of photos. So he put that for her. And I'm like, hey man, could you check your cameras if anything happened? Because Amazon said, hey, it's been delivered. It was signed and left at the front desk. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. It's a house, not an apartment or anything that has a front desk or whatever, right? Uh, so he looked at his cam and I see these this two, like, I don't know how old they are, kids. They're kids just take the package right and they just and they leave and i don't recognize them and i don't know all the kids in my neighborhood but these two did not look familiar at all right so i'm just here taking the l like damn like someone really stole my stuff you know so i contact amazon support and they're like oh well basically first of all i can't even talk to a person i'm talking to this stupid bot and the bot is basically saying well you, you have to wait 24 hours for the allotted window of delivery you know to pass before you can talk to support and then they can refund you or you know whatever the options are i'm like whatever right the next day okay so this is yesterday morning no yesterday morning sunday no man what day was it it's monday i don't know that's monday so there you go monday right I, w I went to take on my dog and then this box the one that had the camera was outside my door but not my laptop Okay, <laughs> so 
Okay, so they, they like steal it, and they're like, you know what? We don't really need the camera, but we could use a laptop. Like, I was mind blown. You know what I mean? Um, and I have my neighbor check again, but this time I think they probably realized the camera was there, and I think it's only motion added, activated, so they went in through the other side. So I, I, we never saw them, you know, drop it off or whatever, and my dog never barked, and it's usually pretty good at barking when people are close to the door and stuff. So I don't know when they dropped this off, and I guess I'm thankful. I mean, not really. Like, where's my laptop at, you know? So I'm talking to Amazon, and they're, and they're trying to, you know, figure it out, you know? The, the thing that sucks is they're basically only giving me a refund because I got, I got it through a Black Friday sale, and now the product costs more money. And I'm like, I get that, but when I bought it, it was cheaper. So like, how is it my fault? You know what I mean? So, yeah. So basically, we got the camera, but no laptop as of now. So yeah, Amazon's being, it's being dumb. But anyways, we're three minutes away here from Balducci's. We'll see you guys in a few. Oh, let me know, what, what would you guys do? I mean, I know that I got to invest in like a rain camera, some type of security. It's never happened before. You know, live in a pretty safe neighborhood. I've never had anything like that happen ever, you know? But I, I would have thought they would have wanted me to sign because, you know, it is like a high ticket item or whatever. So I was, you know, prepared for that, but you know, when I saw that it was dropped off, delivered. And the thing that threw me off is that it, sometimes Amazon sends you a photo, right? This time we just said it was signed for and received by the front desk. And I thought that was weird because there is no front desk and nobody signed it at my house. So yeah, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on that, but uh, we'll see you guys. In First time ever in Balducci's and there's no aisles, there's no nothing. Oh my God. Okay, it's gonna be a struggle. I'm gonna have to ask a lot of people for help here. Uh, candy, look at all the candy they have here. Jeez. All right, well, let's give this a shot. Yeah, I would've thought it would give you aisles and stuff, but it doesn't, oh man. Okay, guys. So even though there's no photo, I think it would have been right. It would have been right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But two Godiva large chocolate, but the ounces are off. This is 10.6, 8.4, but that's the biggest one they have, and it's not looking good. Even the gift box, yeah, yeah. So it's not looking so hot. So I'm gonna say item unavailable, confirmed, and we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, really sucks that they don't give you aisles but the produce section looks pretty small so I think I should be able to find all these things because it looks so small and there are some photos so that's good but yeah let's keep it going let's go so I think all this stuff is right here we're looking for the organic cauliflower it's right here all right it's a little bit wet let's see Man, is you guys just a shopping app ever is slow? Like I already added the item, but it's still saying that I need to add it. Ah, uh, it's very annoying. Like how many times do I gotta add it? Okay, so now we're looking for the bakery. And there's no photo, but hopefully we'll be able to find this. Okay, so we got the muffins. You just have to ask the bakery people and they got them for me. Now I'm looking for this Ivy City Smokehouse Grey Black Salmon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, sir. No, you're fine. I'm assuming it's here somewhere, but I'm blind. So, yeah. Right, so it was right in front of me, but we found it. Now we're looking for the last thing, which is a Ber Bertagini Porcini Mushroom Tortellini, I think. Um, so we're, you know, last item. But yeah, I mean, we're still with India a lot of time, so it's not too, too bad, but this is, this would be a lot easier if, you know, it had aisles and stuff, so yeah. Okay guys, so we're back in the Dashmobile and guess what happened, okay? Well, first of all, they finally found someone who knew about these stinking mushrooms or whatever, and they were like, oh yeah, we, we haven't had those in stock in months. Okay, so I put the, you know, they didn't have it, whatever, no problem. And then I go to check out, right? And I'm checking everything's cool, you know, putting everything in the plastic bags. I, I go to pay and the girl goes, oh, it says your card is declined. And I'm like, are you serious? 
Are you serious right now? So uh, I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna move to the side of the line. I'll talk to support, you know. I call, I, I call. I went to the, the chat and talking to support. They're like, oh yeah, we're having some issues with the red card right now. Are you willing to pay with your own card and we'll reimburse you? And let me tell you why I don't do that, okay? Because the one time that I did it a long time ago, it took weeks of back and forth to get my money back. And I'm not dealing with that, first of all. And, and all that stuff that I got is expensive. I think it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks worth of, worth of stuff, even though it was small items. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I go, no, like, basically told them what happened, like, in the past. You know, it takes a long time to get your money back. And she goes, oh, I understand. You know, uh, I want to go ahead and unassign you from the order and give you half pay. And she goes, oh, this won't go, this won't, this won't count against you uh, on your completion rating. I'm like, okay, that's great. Thank you. So we got the half pay. I think it was like 11.75 or something. Um, but yeah, so we definitely spent a lot of time, but it, it happens. Uh, I'm okay with not paying it and then waiting to get reimbursed because I just, in the past, it's taken forever. So I'm not going to take that risk, you know? Um, I think if it would have been like 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks, no problem, but like 50? Yeah, I don't know if I trust uh, the DoorDash support agent. So yeah, we'll reimburse you right away. Nope. So yeah. Anyways, the time is 4.35 and we're baby stepping it to $100. Let's go. Okay, guys. So after waiting for a while, we got this order right here from the Lebanese Taverna. Now... I was surprised when they asked me to take a photo of my catering bag. Um, but I took it because they double digits, eleven fifty, and I just realized also there's a two dollar peak pay going on. So this could put us right there, right, right close to a hundred bucks. So yeah, we're having a pretty crappy last day of the month here, but hey, we're doing what we can, you know? So hopefully hopefully the food's ready. When they're really busy, they have another opening. They have like a little like a little takeout section, but when it's just normal, they they just help you over here. So yeah, I think it's right here. Let me see. Hello, I'm just picking up for uh, David. David N. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, uh, it's uh, three chicken kebabs, one falafel sandwich. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hey guys, so we got the last order dropped off. It actually became, I want to say, like almost eighteen dollars. So hey. It was a good order out from like 11.50 or whatever it said. Now we're back here in Tyson's too. Look at the order we just got right here from Magianos and P.F. Chang's, but he's paying 21.75. Why? I don't know. It only says three items, but one, the one order from Magianos is a family meal for four. The one from P.F. Chang's is just normal. So right now we're here in front of Magianos. Hopefully the food's ready. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Just uh, Melinda. Family for meal. Family meal for four. There you go. Okay, guys. So we got the order picked out for Magianos. That one was basically ready. They had to just put it in the bag. Now we go in here to P.F. Chang's, which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, but... You know, they're not terrible, terrible. I'm just... Okay, no, they're, they're pretty bad. I take it back. They're pretty bad. Hopefully, it's ready. Let's see. Let's see. It's supposed to be ready like two minutes ago. Will it be ready? Will it be ready? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. I don't know how to pronounce that, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe it. I swear that's the fastest I've ever been in and out of uh, P.F. Chang's. Let's go. All right. Let's see how long for the first drop off. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Okay. 15 minutes. That's not bad. Four miles, 15 minutes. Could be worse. Let's go. So we get the first one right 
here. Okay, that's an interesting design for the house. Where is the door? Is it this way? I would assume it's this way. Because the other side is the back. Yeah, it's the front. Perfect. Okay guys, so I think I'm in the right place just based on the map, but I did not see any numbers, but yeah, based on the map, I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. So, yeah. Hello from Ms. Belinda. Hi, how are you? Sorry, it's hard to see the numbers. <laughs> no worries. Perfect, just two bags for you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Guys, so as you saw, we got both orders dropped off, and overall, DoorDash hid 25 cents. <laughs> the order went from 21.75 to 22 dollars, and we were just waiting back in Tyson's too. And today, another snow day, and I get it. I started a little bit late. Don't get me wrong, but still, you know, um, I think yeah, the the one. To like four, absolutely killer. Especially right now that we're not getting anything from from Macy's, it absolutely sucks. Um, so yeah. But anyways, and we picked this order up, and it could be the last one of the day here, mainly because we are running out of time. Uh, it's from the Hunan Cafe. I just picked it up. It's exactly a hundred dollars. Now you know we got the food in the in the catering bag. It's pretty windy, so you gotta make sure you use your bags because the food will get cold super fast. Now, it's only nine minutes away, 2.5 miles. Could our last order be a banger from a Chinese place? What an, un an unlikely duo, but it's possible. Hey guys, we got the order dropped off and ended up being 21 and some change. Damn, so yeah, son. we're gonna end here with like a, I'll call this a mini banger. Yeah, why not? Why not? We're gonna finish the dash here at $125 with six cents. Is it great? No. Could it be better? Absolutely. But is it is it like, am I going to trash on it? No. No, because what was it? Was it last Tuesday? Where it, it took me like the entire day to make like $150 or whatever. And I mean the entire day. I'm talking from like 6 in the morning to like 7 p.m. That was the worst day I've ever had. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, but for a small second, I thought, oh, man, they made a mistake because the address, it was going to an office building. I'm like, it's 730 at night. No one's working. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Um, but then when I pulled up to the building, these guys came out. And they're like, oh, yeah, we're picking up the order. I'm like, oh, great. So, yeah, so that was that. And that's the dash. We're going to end the dash here at $125 with six cents, completing 10 orders. Yeah, could I have more if I would have, you know, paid for the Balducci's order? Sure. But I decided not to do it. I got my own reasons. So you guys can agree or disagree. Or let me know in the comments if you guys would have paid it and then, you know, get reimbursed. I've had a bad experience which is why I didn't want to do it again. Um, but we at least got the half pay. Now for the entire month, we're gonna finish with 2,624 garbage orders declined, completing 332. And we made $4,386 with 81 cents. So we were a little bit off, like like $600 or some change. <coughs> um, so yeah, kind of sucks, but the last Thanksgiving week, I mean, this this is technically, well, this is the beginning of the following week, but last week, one of my slowest weeks in a long time, um, you know, it happens. I think a lot of people just have leftovers or maybe they're traveling. And at the same time, it's also the end of the month. So maybe trying to save a little bit of money, a little bit of rent money and whatnot. So, yeah. But tomorrow, a brand new month starts, a new challenge. And if we don't, and remember, if we don't, if we don't hit it, if we don't hit it, then... You guys know what I'm going to do. <laughs> do the one chip challenge. And I'm not even that good with spice, to be honest. Even though people think I should be because I'm Hispanic, I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not good with spice. Um, so that's going to even give me more motivation to <laughs> to hit 5,000. And on top of that, there's another challenge going on within the Discord. Uh, not organized by me, by the way, but I'm still going to be part of it. Um, which is always fun when people can challenge each other and whatnot. So yeah, so hopefully you guys had a good time here riding with me. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Peace.